Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you a comparison between Ubuntu and Monjaro. I'm going to talk about which one is the better Linux distribution out of these two. My name is Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. Let's get started. When we talk about Linux distributions, a lot of names come to our mind as Linux have around about 600 distributions, you know. But there is always one which is used by more people than any other distribution. Same is the case with Manjaro and Ubuntu. Manjaro and Ubuntu both are Linux-based distributions and each of them has their pros and cons. Well, all of us have been thinking whether Manjaro is better or Ubuntu is good to go. And there are a lot of similarities and dissimilarities in both. So it is very difficult to decide which is better and which one we should be using. Manjaro was derived from Arc Linux and it focuses on customizations and simplicity. It may rely on the Arc Linux component, but under it, it delivers a very different experience from Arc. Ubuntu is an old player as it has rich history and it still is the preferred distribution for new users. And it is based on Debian. On the other hand, Monjaro was launched back in 2011, but in the meantime, Manjaro's users are increasing day by day. So in today's video, we'll try to clear all your doubts which you might have about Manjaro and Ubuntu. So let's start the comparison. Comparison number one. The installation time in Ubuntu takes a bit longer to install or you can say it takes longer to get ready for the first use. While Manjaro takes a little less time as compared to Ubuntu and it gets ready to be used really quickly in comparison to Ubuntu. Comparison number two. If we talk about the system resources, in the case of Ubuntu, Ubuntu use relatively more resources as you can see that Ubuntu is using almost, almost 1.4 gigabytes of RAM. In case of Manjaro, it uses less resources as compared to Ubuntu. Here you can see that it's using 1.1 gigabytes of RAM and I have opened a couple of things. If I would close it, it would drop down probably to 600 or 700 megabytes. So we can say that Manjaro is more more efficient in this regard. Comparison number three. If we talk about the response time in Ubuntu, it took a little bit longer to open a folder or a file when I tried it. So here you can see that it took a little bit longer to open up this directory. In case of Manjaro, if I try to open a file or directory, it did not take as long as compared to Ubuntu to open any file or folder. Comparison number four, Ubuntu is based on Debian. We have three versions of Ubuntu. First one is for desktop user and second one is for servers and third one is for the Internet of Things. In case of Manjaro, it is based on Arc Linux it features and its emphasis is on stability, security, and overall user-friendliness. Comparison number five. In Ubuntu, we have apt package manager. We use this to download, install, or update the software or application in Ubuntu. In case of Manjaro, it uses Pacman package managers and also uses Pecar. Comparison number six. For default desktop environment, Ubuntu uses Genom to manage all the things. In case of Manjaro, we have more than one environment like Cinnamon, Genome, and XFCE, etc. Comparison number seven. If we talk about user friendliness, Ubuntu is more focused on user friendliness as it is easier to use as compared to the Manjaro. New user gets used to it more quickly in comparison to Manjaro. In case of Manjaro, it is designed to make it easier to use Arc Linux. Comparison number eight, Ubuntu 
has a very big community support because of its popularity. If we talk about Manjaro, it also have a community support, but it mostly consists of Arc Linux users. Comparison number nine. In Ubuntu, we do not have 32-bit support available, which means that we cannot install Ubuntu on 32-bit hardware systems. In case of Manjaro, we have the options to choose between 32-bit and 64-bit hardware system as Manjaro supports both. In case of supported architecture, Ubuntu supports AMD64 and i368 as well. Comparison number 10. In case of supported architecture, Ubuntu supports AMD64 and i368 as well. In case of Manjaro, it only supports x86-64. Comparison number 11. Ubuntu uses the Linux kernel 4.15, while Manjaro, it uses the Linux kernel 4.19.26. Comparison number 12. In case of updates, these two have different way of releasing updates. In case of Ubuntu, we have release for every two years. If we talk about LTS, which stands for long-term support, then we have support and updates for next five years. Talking about Manjaro, we have rolling releases means updates are continuous and we do not need to download a new version every time. Comparison number 13. When we install both distributions, we come to see different lists of softwares installed. For example, in case of Ubuntu, when we install it, we see lots of applications like word processor, email client, video call-in, browser, LibreOffice, etc. When we install the Manjaro, we have much less pre-installed applications because it allows you to have only those applications which you want to have. Comparison number 14. Ubuntu was designed to make it easy for the people to use it. And that is why we have a lot of simplicity in it. Ubuntu tried hard to make user interface of it as clean and as pleasing to the eye as possible. If we talk about Manjaro, it is based on Arc and have all the benefits of ARC-based distribution. It is very user-friendly. Comparison number 15. Ubuntu is a stable environment, means we do not have to worry about anything as its version gets released after every two years. But in case of Manjaro, it can still be unstable sometimes despite of having near packages and softwares. Comparison number 16. In Ubuntu, we do not have the option of stacking the apps, which means that if we open multiple apps in Ubuntu, we have to adjust them. But by default, there is no way that they will be adjusted on their own. In case of Manjaro, we have the option of stacking the apps as we have option of tile windows. What it will do is that it will adjust the applications automatically and no application will open on another application. Okay, as you can see on screen, two applications have opened up separately as I have selected the tiles. Comparison number 17. In Ubuntu, we have traditional color scheme which is not bad. Icons are also okay. But when we try to open something, it takes a little bit more time than Manjaro. And in Manjaro, we have a dark theme based color scheme which is very pleasing to the eyes and it helps you to keep your focus on the screen. And apart from that, color combinations between screen, bars and icon, they are very very great. Comparison number 18. There is no dedicated icon on the home screen where you can see and look for the updates available on your system in Ubuntu. While in Manjaro, 
we have a dedicated icon at the top right side of the screen where you can see all the updates available. Let's talk about the last but not the least comparison. Comparison number 19. In Ubuntu, if you have a lot of applications open and you want to go to the desktop, you have to press the super key, which might be the Windows key in most cases. And a tray will appear on the right side of the screen. So click on there and you will get to the desktop and you cannot shift through the apps after going to the desktop. In Manjaro, there is no way that we can go back to the desktop screen without closing or minimizing the apps or you have to follow the same way by clicking the super key which could be the windows key on your computer and you can shift through apps using alt plus tab. Now let's conclude. In conclusion, both of these distributions addresses the different audience and problems. Means in case you want to access the R packages or you want granular customization, then Manjaro is the best option for you. And in case you want more convenient and stable distribution, then go for the Ubuntu. Also, if you are a new user of Linux, you should go for the Ubuntu as it it is easier to operate so we can say that it's all about the needs and preferences which will guide your decision to choose between the two distribution so we hope that we were able to clear your doubts about which distribution to choose or which one is perfect for you as per your need so go ahead and install ubuntu if you like things easy and go ahead and install manjaro if you like your own customization so that's it from this video Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos to help you advance your IT career.